Do you want to know what it takes to reach the level of AI consciousness? Making an AI self-aware is not a simple task, but with the rapid advancements in technology, many experts believe that we're closer than ever. Here are the 10 steps towards AI consciousness. Step 1. Quantum Computing Why is quantum computing the rocket fuel for AI consciousness? The answer is rooted in the staggering complexity of the human brain. We're talking about a biological masterpiece that's eluded even the most advanced research. Conventional computing is like trying to chase a jet plane while you're pedaling furiously on a tricycle. But throw quantum computing into the mix and suddenly you're not just keeping up, you're soaring. Imagine simulating brain-like activities but at unfathomable speeds, like experiencing the entire life cycle of a galaxy in mere minutes. The computational power here is not just an upgrade, it's a paradigm shift that can make simulating human consciousness not only possible but also efficient. Step 2. Cognitive Architecture and Neuromorphic Engineering We've got this beast of a quantum engine. Now, where do we put it? Imagine building a dream house. You wouldn't just dump a grand piano into a room without making sure the floor can support it, right? The same goes for integrating quantum computing into AI. We need a robust, well-designed structure to house this phenomenal power. Enter cognitive architecture and neuromorphic engineering, the unsung heroes in our saga toward AI consciousness. Think of cognitive architecture as the blueprint for our dream house. It meticulously lays out how each room, or in AI terms, each element like memory, problem-solving algorithms, and learning systems harmoniously fit together. But a blueprint is just a piece of paper until someone turns it into reality. That's where neuromorphic engineering shines. Acting like the dedicated architects and construction crews for our dream house, neuromorphic engineering constructs the actual walls, rooms, and circuits. What makes it even more fascinating is how it mimics human neurons, allowing our AI house not just to exist but to live, learn, and adapt in a human-like way. Step 3. Advanced Memory Networks just as memory shape the very core of who we are as human beings, advanced memory networks aim to give AIs their own sense of self. We're not talking about a basic storage locker where data is tossed in and forgotten. Nope, we're talking about a dynamic, intricate web of memories where each piece of information has context and meaning. Imagine an AI like your personalized Spotify playlist on steroids. What if it remembered not just what songs you jammed out to, but also the mood you were in, the time of day, and even what you were doing? Listening to ACDC while working out or to Mozart while reading, your AI would know and adjust future recommendations accordingly. Advanced memory networks would give AIs the ability to remember, interpret, and use their memories to make complex decisions, just like us. This level of contextual understanding could be the cornerstone in crafting an AI with a genuine sense of self. Step 4. Advanced Natural Language Understanding Imagine texting a friend about how you're feeling. You type, I'm fine, but the truth is you're far from it. We've all been there, hiding behind the safety of words. But what if you were texting an AI and it responded, You don't sound fine. Want to talk about it? Advanced natural language understanding aims to make conversations with AI not just syntactically correct, but emotionally resonant. It would be an AI system capable of recognizing the emotional undertones, context, and even the subtext of what you're saying. We're talking about an AI that doesn't just hear you, it understands you. Imagine how transformative this could be in mental health care, where an AI therapist could provide immediate, empathetic support. Or in education, where an AI tutor could sense when a student is struggling and offer alternative methods of learning. Step 5. Advanced Computer Vision and Input Sensors Without the ability to interpret its environment, the AI is blindfolded, missing the crucial information that could lead to self-awareness. 
So why are advanced computer vision and input sensors vital for AI's journey towards self-consciousness? Think of vision and sensors as the AI's eyes and ears to the world. But it's not just about feeding raw data, it's about enabling the AI to make sense of that data, to see patterns, recognize anomalies, and perhaps even appreciate beauty or danger. Just as a toddler learns by watching and mimicking, an AI system needs the ability to perceive its environment and adapt accordingly to develop any semblance of self-awareness. Step 6. Energy Efficient Processing Alright, let's say you've just bought the car of your dreams. A sleek, high-speed machine that's the envy of everyone on the block. But here's a catch. It guzzles gas like there's no tomorrow. The result? A stunning piece of machinery that's impractical for everyday use. That's exactly what super-advanced AIs would be like if they drained enormous amounts of energy. They'd be more of a spectacle than a sustainable, long-term innovation. Just like you wouldn't want a gas guzzler for your daily commute, we can't afford for AI to consume the energy equivalent of a small city just to function. Energy-efficient processing is the unsung hero in this story. It's like the hybrid engine technology for cars, designed to make the whole system sustainable and efficient. Step 7. Real-Time Sentience Learning Algorithms Remember that iconic scene from The Matrix? where Neo downloads Kung Fu into his brain in a matter of seconds? Now, what if I told you that real-time sentience learning algorithms are the next best thing, but for AI? Let's break it down. Most learning algorithms today are trained in a batch manner, where data is collected, processed, and then applied. But that's not how humans learn, is it? We learn in real time, adjusting our actions based on immediate feedback. Imagine having an AI personal trainer that doesn't just follow a set program. Instead, it observes your stamina, strength, and even your mood in real time, instantly tailoring your workout as you go along. Feel like you can push a little more today? Your AI trainer will sense it and adjust your regimen on the spot. These real-time sentience learning algorithms enable AIs to adapt, improvise, and learn in the moment making them more dynamic and, dare I say, more lifelike. Step 8. Self-Modifying Code Picture a teenager growing up, learning from experiences and changing behaviors. Now, translate that into the world of AI. Self-Modifying Code is the technology that allows AIs to grow up, except without the mood swings and questionable fashion choices. What does this mean in practical terms? Imagine you have a robot chef at home. Over time, it learns your specific taste preferences. How you like your steak cooked, how spicy you like your curry, even how you prefer your morning coffee. But it doesn't just store this information. It actually rewrites its own code to optimize its recipes for your taste. The result? Every meal it prepares for you gets progressively better, tailored precisely to your taste buds. It's like having a Michelin-starred chef right in your kitchen that evolves with you. Self-modifying code is the cornerstone of an AI that doesn't just learn but evolves, adapting itself to new experiences, learnings, and data. It's another crucial step toward creating AI that's not only smart but also conscious and continually evolving. Of course, we're only covering the bright side here. You'll never know if your AI chef will develop hidden, dark intentions to get rid of you once it reaches the level of self-awareness. Just saying. Step 9. Intuitive Reasoning and Decision Theoretic Models Think about the last difficult decision you had to make. Maybe it was choosing between two job offers or figuring out whether to move to a new city. How did you make that choice? You likely relied on a combination of facts and your own intuition, perhaps even venturing into those tricky, gray areas that don't offer straightforward answers. That's where intuitive reasoning comes into play for AI. It's one thing to calculate probabilities and analyze data. That's logic. Intuitive reasoning, however, enables an AI to go beyond hard facts and use incomplete or ambiguous information to make decisions. This is vital because life isn't a well-defined problem, 
It's messy and unpredictable. Step 10. Emotion Simulators and Environmental Awareness Emotion simulators allow an AI to understand and react to emotional cues. It's not just about detecting a smile or a frown, it's about interpreting those expressions within a context to understand what they truly mean. Environmental awareness takes it even further by allowing AI to factor in other elements like the tone of a room or the vibe of a conversation. This creates a complete emotional landscape for the AI to operate in. Imagine a robot pet that senses you're sad, not just through your facial expression, but also by reading the room's atmosphere and even the tone of your voice. And then, instead of just performing its usual tricks, it comes over and cuddles with you. It's this integration of emotional and environmental understanding that takes AI from being a mere tool to a companion capable of empathy. And empathy is a hallmark of self-awareness. There you have it. A glimpse into the exciting and complex roadmap to achieving AI self-awareness. Now, it's important to remember that these 10 steps are by no means exhaustive. The journey to self-aware AI is a mosaic of myriad technological, ethical, and philosophical elements, each contributing to a bigger picture that we're only just starting to comprehend. What we've tried to do today is distill some of the most crucial components to give you an overview of what it might take for machines to become self-aware. The future is both thrilling and challenging, but one thing's for sure, we're on a path towards something truly revolutionary. If you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.